Because Rick has been gone for so long, my mind always wonders what he would think about everything that's happened and how he would have responded differently than our characters did. I made a video like this about the Whisperers, and now that we're almost done with the Commonwealth arc, I've got a few thoughts I'd like to share about how I think Rick would have handled things differently. Now before you rush to the comments to tell me, I do know that this show is based on a comic series and that Rick was there for all of this. Believe me, I saw enough comments on the last video, I know. But what people fail to understand is that the show has always deviated from the comics in every single storyline it adapted. Show Rick is very similar to Comic Rick, but they're not entirely the same. I also have not read the comics, so other than a few things I've seen and heard and Kuroto's comparison series, I'm kinda in uncharted territory when it comes to what Rick does in the comics at the Commonwealth Arc. With Rick's attitude changing in Season 9, and let's just say that they would have kept the six year time jump in the show even if Rick was still around, I believe he would have handled the Whisperers differently than he did in the comics. The same goes for the Commonwealth, because show Rick would have acted very differently than how he handled the situation in the comics. So in today's video I'm going to be going over my thoughts as to how Rick would have responded to the Commonwealth as opposed to what our characters did. Would he have adapted easier? Would he have opposed them like Maggie did? Let's discuss our options. How Rick handles the Commonwealth depends entirely on how Rick would have changed during the course of his fight with the Whisperers. Would he have remained a leader trying to install peace, or would he revert back to his old ways in the Murderbeard era? I'm going to go over two different scenarios, the first in which Rick would try to remain calm and install peace, and the other where he goes full on Murderbeard. So in this first scenario, I'm going to call this the pacifist Rick route, we'll start when Lance arrives at the Commonwealth and offers for them to come and stay at the Commonwealth. Rick would have accepted this offer, meeting with Pamela and gone over his history, most likely becoming one of the high-ranking officials in the Commonwealth government. The group would move into the Commonwealth, Rick making sure that peace is achieved, but also that this place is safe enough for Judith and RJ to live in, along with the rest of his family. He would find that the Commonwealth is indeed safe, but there are a number of problems as well. Rick would see right through the type of person Lance Hornsby is and grow an immediate distrust to him. There are also things like the lottery and the party for the wealthy that Rick wouldn't think too fondly of and it would remind him almost too much of the old world. He'd try his best to work on fixing things from the inside, eventually being looked at as a man of the people, someone that all the commoners would look up to because he's someone that they could choose to follow. This would of course also be reinforced by the group looking to Rick for answers, and the rest of the Commonwealth would soon learn that if you needed something done, you'd go to Rick. But the Commonwealth would still be the Commonwealth. Sebastian's antics, the list of missing people, Toby, all of these elements would still be there, and it would push Rick over the edge to put a stop to everything involved. As things continued to heat up between Rick's way of handling things and Pamela's way of leading, Rick would be forced to take matters into his own hands. Being a leader of the people, the people would eventually side with Rick along with his own group, leading to some sort of battle that would eventually lead to Rick and company overthrowing Pamela, and one of Rick's famous speeches about how this is your commonwealth, not theirs. But Rick wouldn't kill Pamela or Lance, he would keep them alive, having them do the work of the people that they looked down upon when they were in charge. And they'd all live happily ever after, probably not in the comics Sebastian kills Rick, I'm unsure of what the circumstances are, but I could very much see that happening in this version of the story. People would be pissed, but I almost think it would be a perfect end to Rick's character arc. He restores this place, which is probably humanity's best case of survival, back to glory, then gets killed and inspires dozens if not hundreds of others to continue the work that he started. I think that's ultimately how Rick's story is going to end one way or another. But perhaps Rick's whole ordeal with the Whisperers would have changed him into something else entirely. Maybe he would have reverted back to his old ways and forgot about trying to bring peace to all, so let's go over scenario 2, and I'm going to call this the Murderbeard route. Starting back when Lance comes to offer help, Rick would be very skeptical, very much like Maggie is in the show, but against his better judgment, he would go visit the Commonwealth and see for himself, having backup plans A through Z in his head just in case anything goes wrong. But he would find that the Commonwealth is very safe, almost too safe. But his priority would be to help Judith and RJ grow up and survive in this world, and even Murderbeard Rick would want them going to school and growing up in the safety of the Commonwealth. 
So he and probably a few others from the group would move to the Commonwealth, but he wouldn't become a high-ranking official, he would become a soldier like Daryl and Rosita in the show. But in training to be a soldier, Rick would immediately disagree with Mercer and his methods, rebelling against his way of doing things in favor of his own. Rick would continue along this path, looking for any and all cracks in the system and pointing them out. Rick's actions would eventually get him known by Pamela, and she would see Rick as the Commonwealth's bad boy and rule breaker. Hearing about this underground rebellion starting to form, Rick would seek them out, happy to find them when he does, and probably almost instantly become their leader. This would go on to make Rick this sort of Robin Hood-esque character, going against the established order and doing things for the good of the people instead. He'd become this outlaw, and the group would be right there with him. This would of course cause a number of issues, issues that Lance Hornsby would have to take care of himself. We'd see a lot of the plot from 11C happen here, but in the form of a plan that was hatched by Lance. Kidnap the group and force them to work elsewhere for breaking the rules or something along those lines. This wouldn't exactly work out for Lance or really anyone at the Commonwealth. Because Rick and the group, perhaps with help from members of the group who didn't go to the Commonwealth, would fight back, and this time it'd be with a vengeance. They'd storm the Commonwealth, and with all the help from the Rebellion, and possibly even Mercer if he still followed the same path as he's going in the show, they'd take out the Commonwealth soldiers and eventually go to Pamela and Lance, though instead of showing them mercy, he'd kill them for threatening him and his family. Rick would be installed as leader, but I also think he might be a bit ashamed of his actions, especially maybe after seeing Negan help them take over the Commonwealth, he'd think that if Negan could change, perhaps the others could have too. This could have been a very interesting internal struggle for Rick to go through, but given this would be the final season of the show regardless, they wouldn't have much time to explore it. Those are the two scenarios I can think of. If I'm being honest, I think that option one is probably much better and far more accurate to what we would have seen happen if he was still around, but it's fun for me to think about how season five Rick would have reacted differently to a lot of different things from the future seasons of the show. I'll say again that I haven't read the comics, and I only know of a few things from the Commonwealth arc that happen, so the comics might have took a completely different turn of events, and maybe Rick evolves even further and doesn't try to rebel against anybody, I really have no idea. Show Rick not being around obviously leaves a huge hole in the hearts of viewers, but if he had been around at this point, I really think things would have been entirely different. Daryl's now the show's leading man, but he didn't just turn into Rick Grimes. He's not the person who's going to light a fire under people to start a rebellion, because he's not Rick Grimes. People can complain about the recent season's writing all they want, but I'll always respect the fact that they didn't just turn Daryl into Rick. They've kept true to Daryl's character and haven't just made him into a carbon copy knockoff of Rick Grimes. If you have read the comics, let me know down below how accurate or inaccurate my version is, and what you think Rick would have done if he had still been on the show at this point. If you want to see more videos like this, the only other one I can really think of is how Rick would have handled the Reapers, so if you want to see that, let me know, or if you have any other ideas, feel free to comment them down below. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, and subscribe for more Walking Dead content. If you do, then I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.